Hi guys, happy 2016! I hope everyone has been able to get out on the water and enjoy the start of the new year. It has been incredibly cold here in Wilmington and I have not been able to get out in the kayak. So I took some time and I went out to our aquarium here that we have at Fort Fisher. It was great. I really enjoyed some of the local fish and you know, it's an inexpensive way to spend an afternoon when you can't get out on the water. I really love this exhibit because it shows the shallow water that I often get in into in my kayak. And the great thing about it is on clear, non-windy days, I can see a lot of these fish swimming below my kayak. And so it's great to see it from a different perspective. This is the exhibit that kills you on a day that you can't go fishing. Um, they have beautiful speckled trout in here, black drum, red drum, um, and a couple of robin fish that were creeping around the back. I think you can see some of them if you look in the, at the bottom and the back of the, the exhibit. But the thing that was so great about this are you can actually see some of these red fish tailing, um, which is not something you usually get to see from an underwater perspective. Um, no, they're not tailing with their tails out of the water, but you can see them doing that predatory digging in the sand looking for crabs. And it's really interesting to be able to see that from a different perspective, again, underwater for fish that is so common in our area. It was hard to, for me to get some good angles in the large tank exhibit, which is by far my favorite. Uh, but you can see right at the beginning, uh, the moray eel was out and about uh, swimming. They were, it was feeding day. Um, but some really interesting things about this tank is they have a huge triple tail in here. I don't know if you can see it at the top of the screen. Um, and they have incredibly large tarpon, which are some of the oldest fish of the aquarium. So it's really interesting to go on a day where there, there weren't that many people at the aquarium and really get a feel for the types of fish, how long they've been here, and again, see fish that are common in our area swimming and behaving in ways that I don't usually get to observe them. This is another great tank showcasing some of the local fish that I see when I kayak all the time. You know, rays are incredibly common, so are look downs. Uh, but one of the things I loved about this exhibit was uh, they had one African pompano, uh, a small one, and you'll be able to see it swim by in a moment. And they have these great long sort of uh, feathers or 
sort of like a rooster tail coming off the back and they're just really interesting fish. I love the seahorses at this aquarium. Um, they have recently redone the exhibit and they're in a great location. They're so sociable. They always put on a really great show and they're awesome to see. I love lionfish. I know they're an invasive species um, and they're poisonous, but they're such a cool looking fish. And uh, as someone who, who paints and draws, I find them visually fascinating. Um, although I have yet to eat one yet. If anybody has, please comment. I would love to hear what you guys think they taste like or know they taste like. It would be great. And my last stop of the day was the reef exhibit, uh, which had, of course, some of my favorite fish, like the clownfish. And I just always love this exhibit the best. I just think it's beautiful. Anyway, the aquarium at Port Fisher is a great stop if you are feeling a little bit land sick and it's too cold to go out in the water. But thanks for coming along, guys, and uh, I hope I'm able to get my lines back in the water soon.